going on guys welcome back to the channel this is steven turner with turner fishing so what i'm going to talk about today is patterns and how it applies to bass fishing so for this video i conducted a test i went to a cove and i wanted to fish the whole cove and see if i could develop a pattern throughout that cove and come back home and kind of analyze it with you with you guys so let's start this thing off so basically it's july 10th 2020 the water temp was 82 all right so let's go to the next slide so the, the lures we use it was me my brother and my nephew uh a strike king perch which is basically their uh frog that looks different a yosuri popper we we're using a white and a clear one and a zoom pink floating worm is which my nephew was throwing and he ended up hanging two of them, but he don't know how to jerk yet. All right. So this right here is basically the master list. We came in this cove and we started, I think I got a, a list. It's probably, I, I got an image somewhere on here that has the where we fish. But basically we started at the top of the cove on the bottom. And we fished all the way around, and where the where the bass is on the on the little key right here is where we got a bite, or we caught one or missed one, or we got a blow up or anything like that. So we fished all these docks down, and we didn't get a bite until this first little point. That but what was different about that point? Because that's the whole meaning behind a pattern is when you get a bite when you catch a fish you need to stop and think to yourself why did that fish bite why so i'm gonna throw some clips of the bite we had on this point and then we're going to talk about it Come on. That's a pretty decent one. Huh, good job, Tootie. Wine, boy. Wine, don't be damn good enough All right, come on. Oh. Dang, Tootie. He didn't have no worm in it. The fish swallowed it. So as you can see, the first bite came off the Yozuri popper, the clear one. And it was right against the rock wall. So looking at this map, you've got pretty much access to deep water. You see when the contour lines are really close together, that means it's really fast to get to deep water. And they can push up on these points and feed. And the same thing, we got bit twice um, on the floating worm and this little creek over here with the two other bass. It's, it's, it's the same ordeal. I mean, they could live out here. It's uh, 26 foot in the middle. When it gets hot, they could push out to there. But in the morning time, in a low light situation, they could push up and feed on this point. Now, pattern wise, it was on a rock wall. They could push the bait onto this rock wall and basically ambush their prey on this rock wall and th the same thing with this cove if, if the bait gets pushed into this little pocket right here they're going to come up there and they're going to bite this right here is what the area looks like on google earth so basically the rock wall is right here on top of the dock not the one up here but the one the, the, the furthest to the right in the middle. The rock wall is on this dock. So like I said, I mean, you got access to deep water that is fast. It's not like they have to go very far to get into the deep water. And that's one key thing about summertime pattern is if, if they have to move a while to get to deep water, they're not going to do that. I mean, 
they're lazy. So if they can push up really quick, feed in the shallow, and then go back deep when it gets hot, that's where you need to be looking for these summertime bass. So the second area that we started getting a bite on, we went through through everything that we were throwing before, but I ended up tying on a Strike King perch, and I ended up catching a four-pounder on this point. Now this point, I mean, it's got two things going for it. So you've got access to deep water with tight contour lines. That means they can get from shallow to deep really fast. All right, you've also got a creek bed that swings right on the end of this point. So they can sit out there in that creek bed. And another thing it's got is a dock and grass that's more than one foot. The grass here is probably around three feet of water. So you've got like five things going on this point. So <clears throat> me getting bit on the perch, it's the same pattern that we had before, except it's a different top water. So, a thing about patterns is they change every single minute. You could be throwing a spinnerbait, wearing them out, every cast, and then it just stops. So, did they stop feeding? No. Did they, I mean, you've got to be there at the right time. A lot of things about bass fishing is timing. If you're not there at the right time, you're not going to catch that fish. So, I pulled up on the point. First cast on the point, catch a four pounder. I was there at the right time. He was up there feeding and he happens to be there. All right, and now the, the second fish up here was a fish that we missed. I don't think I have it on video, but I'm gonna show y'all the four pounder catch and show y'all, I mean, it's the, pretty much the first cast going around this dock. But what that goes and tells me that fish clued me in is one, they're hitting top water. Two, they won't access deep water really quick. And three, that this grass flat may hold fish. Pretty good one. Freaking chug, dude. Four even. Yeah. <laughs> Just like before, this is the, the Google Maps view of this point. As you can see, like you've got a dock coming out. And where I caught him was on the left of that dock of what you're seeing now. On the little that little bitty point. Now, I've caught fish on here in the past, especially in the springtime. I mean, throwing a spinnerbait down this bank is just the bomb. <laughs> but, I mean, when it gets hot, they can either go down to the deep water. Or they can go over to this dock. So in reality, you could probably whoop around and run the same thing. And that's what patterns are. If you're getting bit on something at a certain time of day, you could probably repeat that. Now, the thing I try to follow is one fish is a dumb fish, two fish is a pattern. And that's just my motto. If I catch a fish on this, but I don't catch any else, it's not a pattern. But if I throw in the same thing doing the same thing and catch two that's a pattern take dock fish, fishing for instance if you're fishing a roll of docks and you're only getting bit on like the third uh railing from the bank that's a pattern if you're getting bit on the outside of the dock but you're not getting bit on the inside of the dock that's a pattern now if you throw two feet shallow get bit throw out to eight foot on the end of the dock and get bit. What what do you pick? But in that instance, I would fish the whole dock. I would fish the whole dock if I'm catching them in three feet of water on every dock. I'm still gonna fish the whole a whole dock. 
All right, so so the last key I want to make is this is coming up to another point. Now, right now, our pattern that we found going down this bank was points, top water, and uh, access to deep water really quick. So a lot of bunched up contour lines. Now, as he's going down his bank, my nephew throws into about one foot of water in a grass patch. And, I mean, he's not, he's new to frog fishing, so I heard it blow up, and he didn't know it blew up. He was just throwing. <laughs> and he gave it enough time. I mean, the, the bass actually ate the frog, and he didn't have the jerk or anything. It was just, he already, the bass caught itself, really. But this fish is a pattern breaker is what I like to call it. You've got a established pattern. You've got points, top water. Okay, I can run to every point and throw top water that has access to deep water and a little bit of grass or a rock wall. That's what we were working with. And then he goes and catches this one. So now you got to pick. Do you want to fish one foot grass or do you want to keep to the points? That's the key to pattern fishing is finding a pattern that you can re replicate. If you throw on a lay down to catch a fish and you fish four more lay downs and there's not a fish on it, that's not a pattern. That's just a, a dumb fish. But if you throw three foot on a dock, catch a fish, and on five or six docks down the row, you throw three foot on that dock, then they're holding in three foot of water on docks. And you can re replicate that around the whole lake for that bite window. That bite window can shut off at any time. Dude, he's a jerk. All right, Tootie. On the frog. I thought I heard one blow up. <laughs> I was like, what was that? Good job, buddy. Oh. Maybe. Tootie <laughs> ain't got one on the frog. All right, dude.